All right, this video is on um, order of operations or evaluating expressions. We start on page 13 kind of as a review of our exponents. Um, our base is 6. That tells us we're going to use 6 as a repeated factor, and we're going to repeat it two times. So 6 times 6 would be 36. And notice how I'm getting away from writing over here equal to, I'm writing it below, uh, more on that later. And then 12 to the second power, so 12 is multiplied times itself two times, and I get 144. Okay, to evaluate a numeric expression means to simplify the expression to a single numeric value, or to get it down to one number, or some might say solve or find the answer. So in an expression like this, we're not even close to having it to one number, so we got some work to do. All right, and that's what this lesson's um, going to get us ready to be able to do. Okay? Let's look at this situation. We've got two of the same expressions. Miguel and Doug solve them in different ways. You can see that they have different answers. Okay, Miguel is right. Doug is wrong. Okay, and as we talked, we saw how Miguel did the ex uh, exponent first. Okay, he did 5 to the second power, which would be 25, and then he multiplied it by 2 to get 50. Where Doug, uh, looks like he multiplied 2 times 5 first. And he did it correctly, 2 times 5 would be 10, but it doesn't want us to multiply first. It wants us to do the exponents first. Okay? And the only way to know that is the order of operations. Okay? So we looked at page 16 here. And this is where in our class I showed the video from Math Antics. And I've also um, put that in the resources for this assignment. So if you want to watch that, you're welcome to at this point. Um, but it basically walks us through these operations. Okay? Um, telling us what order we need to go in. Okay, and then on your notes page, we looked at this and we said that we say that we evaluate the expression or we solve the equation you know, when we find the answer. Okay, and when a math, excuse me, a problem includes several operations, we must perform these operations in a very specific or certain order. Okay, and here again, this is the same as what you see on page 16. All right, sometimes we use a funny saying to help us remember it, like please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or just PEMDAS. All right, they both have the same order, okay, which is important, um, just different ways of remembering it. Um, but you've got to be careful. These only help in a, in a little way, okay? There's still some things you have to remember. Multiplication and division problems are solved before addition and subtraction, okay? These are on two different levels, okay? Just like the boxes down here show us, okay? But um, the order is determined by which comes first, meaning if it's multiplication or division, whichever one comes first in the problem. So, for example, in the expression 18 divided by 2 times 3, you would divide, first divide by 18 by 2, and then multiply by 3. Okay? So, if it's a tie between multiplication and division, okay, if that's all you've got left, you're going to go left to right. All right? Multiplication division, always before addition and subtraction. But if all you have left is addition and subtraction, you go left to right. Same thing with multiplication and division. Okay, and then here's what the problem's going to look like. Notice again, we're not writing to the side. We're not writing equal something. We're just working our way down. All right? So the first thing is always copy the uh, expression as is, if it's not already written on a worksheet, and solve it step by step. And you should put each step on its own line. Okay? Don't try to do all of it in one step. Okay? Um, it's going to come a day when that you're not going to be able to do it in your head. Okay? So might as well practice writing out each step now. Okay, so what I do is I cover up what I'm not doing, that's 9 plus, and I do 2 times 3, which gives me 6. And then everything that I didn't work with, I bring it down. So the 2 plus, or sorry, the 9 plus comes down. 9 plus 6 is 15. Okay, and like it says here, it looks a little bit like a pizza slice. Okay, it kind of funnels it down. And remember, to evaluate an expression means to find one value, right? We found one value, and it's 15. Okay, so here are your problems to work on on the worksheet. Um, remember to use the order of operations, work your way down, do not use the equal sign, but um, each new line is where you put the, um, what you get when you simplify it. Okay, thanks for watching.